हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस इंटरनेशनल मैथमेटिक्स ओलंपियाड क्वेश्चन पेपर 2021 सेट ए फॉर क्लास वन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन वन सेलेक्ट द ऑड वन आउट ऑप्शन ए हैज फोर ट्राइंगल्स ऑप्शन बी हैज थ्री ट्राइंगल्स ऑप्शन सी हैज फोर ट्राइंगल्स एंड ऑप्शन डी हैज अगेन फोर ट्राइंगल्स Except option B, the number of triangles in each option is four, so option B will be the odd one out. Question two: Which of the following is the shortest? Rabbit in option C is the shortest, so option C will be the correct answer. Question three: Shapes dash and dash together will form a square. If we place R. at this place it will form a square so option b p and r will be the correct answer question 4 name the shape of the shaded face of the given figure the shaded face in the given figure is a rectangle so option c will be the correct answer question 5 book dash is at the bottom If you see the figure carefully book Q is at the bottom so option B will be the correct answer Question 6 which of the following figures will complete the given figure pattern In the figure pattern first there is a guitar then a violin and then a mouth organ then again guitar dash and mouth organ In between guitar and mouth organ, there was a violin. So here, violin should come. Correct answer will be option A. Question seven: There is a certain relationship between the pair of figures on either side of colon. Identify the relationship of the given pair and find the missing figure. As tailor is related to pair of scissors, in the same way. painter is related to paint brush so correct answer will be option b question 8 two groups of dash strawberries each can be formed from the given strawberries first we'll count the number of strawberries there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 12 there are 12 strawberries out of 12 strawberries six strawberries will be in two groups so six strawberries in one group and six strawberries in another group so correct answer will be option b 6 question 9 if neha's school function is on third monday of october 20xx then on which date will her annual function be held her annual function is on third monday of october 20xx so if you see the calendar 6 is the first monday 13th is the second monday and 20th is the third monday so her function will be on 20th october correct answer will be option b question 10 if today is sunday then dash will be the day after tomorrow today is sunday so tomorrow will be monday and the day after tomorrow will be tuesday so correct answer will be option d tuesday mathematical reasoning question 11 which of the following abacuses shows the number of dolls given in the picture first we'll count the number of dolls there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 there are 12 dolls So the abacus which shows one bead at tens place and two beads at ones place is the answer. It is in option C. So option C will be the correct answer. One, 
टू क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बकेट्स होल्ड्स द मिनिमम क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर ऑप्शन ए हैज इलेवन लीटर्स ऑप्शन बी हैज ट्वेल्व लीटर्स ऑप्शन सी हैज टेन लीटर्स ऑप्शन डी हैज थर्टीन लीटर्स बकेट इन ऑप्शन सी होल्ड्स द मिनिमम क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर सो ऑप्शन सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन थर्टीन Which activity do you generally do at night? Option A is playing, option B is going to school, option C is sleeping and option D is eating breakfast. We sleep at night, so correct answer will be option C. Question 14, which of the following options shows the same amount as the cost of the given dog house? Option A has Fifty plus ten, sixty rupees. Plus ten, seventy rupees. Plus five, seventy-five rupees. Seventy-five. Option B, twenty rupees plus twenty rupees, forty rupees. Plus ten, fifty rupees. Plus five, fifty-five rupees. Option B has fifty-five rupees. Option C, fifty rupees plus twenty rupees, seventy rupees. Plus ten, eighty rupees. Plus five, eighty-five rupees. Option C has eighty-five rupees. Oh, we can buy the dog house in eighty-five rupees. So option C will be the correct answer. Question fifteen: Which of the following is made up of curved line? Circle in option C is made up of curved line. So option C will be the correct answer. The remaining shapes are made of straight lines. Question sixteen: Which of the following is the greatest? So we'll start solving the options. Option A: thirty plus fifteen. Zero plus five is five. Three plus one is four. Option A has forty-five value. Option B: twenty-eight plus twelve. Eight plus two ten, zero carry forward one, two plus one three plus one four so forty. Option B has forty. Option C, forty one plus thirteen, one plus three four, four plus one five fifty four. Option D, eighteen plus eleven, eight plus one nine, one plus one two. Twenty-nine. So among the options, fifty-four is the highest value. So option C will be the correct answer. Question seventeen. Dash is the longest. So it has one pin, two pin, three pin. So nail as three pin. Now we'll find of hair pin. Hair pin is one, two, three, four clips long. So hair pin four. Now we'll find the length of torch. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Torch is seven pins long. And pen. Pen is one, two, three, four, four pins long. So among these, we can say torch has the highest number of pins, means it is the longest. So option A will be the correct answer. Question eighteen: How many crayons should be crossed to show nine crayons uncrossed? We have to show nine crayons uncrossed. So we'll count first nine crayons. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll cross out the remaining ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we crossed six crayons. So option B will be the correct answer. Question nineteen. Arrange the given numbers in ascending order. In ascending order, we write numbers from smaller to bigger. So first eighteen. 
then 27, then 32 and then 45. If we write it in the form of letters, then it is R S Q P. So option B will be the correct answer. Question 20. How many squares are there in the given figure? In the figure there are 1, 2. Only 2 squares. So option A will be the correct answer. Everyday Mathematics Question 21 There are 45 males and 32 females at a picnic spot. How many total persons are there at the picnic spot? To find the total persons, we will add the males and females. There were 45 males and 32 females. Let's add them. 5 plus 2 is 7. 4 plus 3 also 7. The number we get is 77. So option C will be the correct answer. Question 22. Niharika catches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 butterflies in the morning. She catches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 butterflies in the afternoon and 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 butterflies in the evening. How many butterflies does she catch altogether? In the morning, she catched 8 butterflies. In the afternoon, she catched 5 butterflies. In the evening, She catched 4 butterflies. So we will add them to know how many butterflies she catched altogether. 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. Means she catched 17 butterflies altogether. Correct answer will be option D. Question 23. Mehek has 75 rupees. Which of the following objects she cannot buy? Option A has a fish of 70 rupees. Option B has a toy of 65 rupees. Option C has a notebook of 80 rupees. And option D has a unicorn of 50 rupees. She cannot buy the object which costs more than 75 rupees. So option C will be the correct answer. Question 24. Preeti brought following bulbs from the market. Five bulbs were broken. How many bulbs were not broken? Among the following bulbs, 5 bulbs were broken. So we will cross out 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now the remaining bulbs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 bulbs were not broken. So option D will be the correct answer. Question 25. Arun bought the given items, sunflower of 10 rupees, toy car of 25 rupees and ice cream of 10 rupees. How much total amount did he spend? To find the total amount, we will add the cost of all the items. 10 plus 25 plus 10. 5, 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 4. He spent 45 rupees. So option B will be the correct answer. Question 26. Priyam has 15 apples. He puts them equally into 3 baskets. Each basket has dash apples. Total number of apples are 15. He puts them in 3 basket. Means in each basket he puts 5 plus 5 plus 5 means in each basket there are 5 apples. So option A will be the correct answer. Question 27. Objects dash are outside the basket. If you see the figure carefully, lunch and carrot are inside the basket. 
telephone and key is outside the basket so option c will be the correct answer question 28 manish has 38 stones he distributes 23 stones among his friends how many stones are left with him now he has 38 stones he distributed 23 stones so to find the remaining stones we will subtract 8 minus 3 is 5 3 minus 2 is 1 means he is left with 15 stones option a will be the correct answer question 29 a bag of rice weighs 5 kg how much do four such bags of rice weigh one bag weighs 5 kg so four bags will weigh 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 which is 20 kg so option c will be the correct answer question 30 manya has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 crayons her father gives 1 2 3 4 5 Six. Six more to her. How many total crayons she has now? Manya had seven crayons. Her father gave her six more. So we will add seven plus six is thirteen. She has now thirteen crayons. So option B will be the correct answer. Achiever section. Question 31. Identify the number. It is a two digit number. The sum of its digit is 8. It lies between 50 and 60. Let's see the options. Option A, 53. It is a two-digit number. Yes. The sum of its digit is 8. Yes. 5 plus 3 is 8. It lies between 50 and 60. Yes. 53 lies between 50 and 60. So, option A will be the correct answer. Question 32. Which of the following shows the maximum value? Option A, 91 ones minus 5 tenths will get 41. Option B, 18 ones plus 20 ones will get 38. Option C, 8 tenths minus 4 ones will get 76. Option D, 90 ones minus 8 ones will get 82. So, among the options 41, 38, 76 and 82, 82 is the maximum value. So, option D will be the correct answer. Question 33, there are dash horizontal and dash vertical lines in the given figure. First, we will count all the horizontal lines. Horizontal lines are sleeping lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There are 20 horizontal lines. Option D shows 20 horizontal lines and 25 vertical lines. We can say that option D is the correct answer since other options do not show 20 horizontal lines. Question 34. Fill in the blanks. The candle dash is taller than candle S but shorter than candle Q. Candle dash is the shortest and candle dash is the tallest. Let's fill blank A first. The candle dash is taller than candle S but shorter than candle Q. We'll see candle P first. Is candle P taller than candle S? Yes. 
Is it shorter than candle Q? Yes. Means candle P will come here. Blank B. Candle dash is the shortest. So if you see all the candles, we can say X is the shortest candle. So candle X is the shortest and dash is the tallest. Q is the tallest. So among the options, option D will be the correct answer. Question 35. Neha jumps one step from one and then she jumps two steps and then she jumps three steps. At which point will she reach? First she jumped one step. Then she jumped two steps. So one, two, two steps. Then she jumped three steps. One, two, three, three steps. So she reached at point seven. So option C will be the correct answer. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See another video. Bye bye.